great ANC headphones and you won't believe the price. Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out these. These, well, let me open them up. These are the Avantree Aria Pro ANC headphones. And yes, they look a whole lot like the Bose headphones, but of course they're actually made by a different company and they're considerably less expensive. But they do have some pretty rockin' active noise cancellation. Now, they feature 40 millimeter drivers, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC pairing if you have an NFC phone and 24-bit HD sound. It also comes with a bunch of stuff in the case. We'll get back to all of that in a second. It also supports multi-point connection, which is really handy. So you can connect it to multiple devices simultaneously and whichever one's generating audio is what it will actually play. I find this really helpful myself because I'll often have my ear um, headphones paired to my computer and my phone at the same time. So if a phone call comes in, I don't have to do anything. I'm just ready to go. But otherwise I could be listening to a movie, listening to music, whatever, right off my computer. That works out really well. Features APTX and APTX low latency, which yes, means if you want to watch a movie with this, there are no latency issues and has a really nice battery. So it's a 650 millimeter, <sighs> 650 milliamp hour battery, which gives you 24 hours on a full charge. Although if you use ANC, that cuts a couple of hours off of it total, but still lots and lots of battery life. If you charge this before your next grand world tour flight, you're gonna have plenty of battery at the end, or you're gonna be really tired and you'll have fallen asleep anyway. <laughs> Either way, lots and lots of battery life, and you can use it in a variety of ways. So now let's talk about the case and what's inside. So comes with this portable soft case. Not a huge fan of these, but I know a lot of people like them. And inside you get, let's see, you get a micro USB charging cable. Kind of wish they weren't still using micro USB. USB-C is much more modern, but so it goes a 3.5 millimeter, 1.5 meter cable. And this is great because if you run out of battery or you just don't really want Bluetooth radiating by your brain, you can use these in wired mode with your device and they work just as well. Better yet, the ANC is on independent circuitry so you can still use ANC when using them wired. Now, here's another interesting thing. It comes with a little um, headset. So you can actually put this on and it just goes in the 3.5 millimeter jack. It knows that's what it is. You can put them on and now you have a little microphone and it even has a tiny little mute switch at the end of it too. This is what they call their detachable boom microphone. So pretty cool. And I tested the system both with and without using the boom microphone and without, it does okay. You could use this for a phone call without any problem. But with the boom mic, you get much better sound because of course the microphone is literally right in front of your mouth. Win-win. So this can be really nice. It's good for gamers. It's good if you need to make a couple of phone calls. And then of course you can just unplug it and now you just have these very nice sleek looking headset. So the bigger issue that I have is it just has a lot of buttons. So one of the things that companies work on is they work on the user experience with the headphones. And we'll get to the sound with these because it sounds really terrific. But there's just a lot of buttons. So on the right ear, you have the micro USB charger, you have the power on and off, doubling as a Bluetooth pairing button. You have volume up and down, pause, play, all of that. And then on the left ear, you have an entirely new set of functions and buttons. So you have the 3.5 millimeter, you have the ANC that you could turn on and off, you have a mute button, you have various buttons for phone calls. It just ends up being a lot. And if you wanna do something where you have it on your head and you're trying to remember which button you need to push on which side, it's a kind of complicated user experience. So that is something if you are easily confused, you might find these headphones also equally confusing. But the other thing that you can do, which is really nice, is you can just leave everything enabled. So turn on ANC, there's a tiny green light. 
If you are paired, there's a tiny flashing blue light that lets you know that you are paired. And as soon as you disconnect, I have it paired to my iPhone 11 Pro, but as soon as I disconnect, it'll start a timer and after five minutes, the whole headphone will power down, including the ANC. So that's really nice, because otherwise the sort of classic experience is you take your headphones off, you turn them off, you put them away, you take them out, and they're dead. Because the ANC stayed on, because it's a separate switch. So the positive of being a separate switch is if you use them wired, you can still get ANC. That's a plus. But the downside is you have to remember to turn both sides off to really be optimal. So it's pretty easy. So literally turn one off and you know you get sort of voice prompts here. So if I turn this off, then I hear, okay, so I hear that it's reminded me that it's powered off. So pretty easy. Now I don't have to worry about anything on the phone end. And obviously these are foldable and they can go in the case or you can just carry them like this and they're pretty small or you could do what a lot of people do and I admit I do this too is just wear them around your neck it's easy enough like that and then you know where they are <laughs> which gets us to the sound and when I first paired them I had the EQ turned on on my phone and it was too much it was just way too bass heavy way muddy and then I went to a flat EQ and suddenly these just jumped into life and they have a really nice sound. It's a, still a little bass heavy. So if you want to listen to like EDM or something like that, you're going to really dig these headphones. They give you a lot of bass when you're down at that lower end. Um, and okay clarity. It's still a little muddy, a little bass heavy, but really for the price and the really excellent ANC that these have, there's a lot to really like and the sound is quite enjoyable and quite listenable. So if you want to listen to jazz or classical or classic rock or something, it's all going to sound really good. I guess, <laughs> like I said, my only comment is if you have something that has a lot of bass, then that bass is going to really be prominent in the sound that you're listening to. In terms of sound stage, it's decent. You know, again, these aren't world-class top-end headphones, but they don't have a price tag to match that either. So there's a lot to like about these. There's a lot that make these a really good choice for a less expensive airplane ANC headphone. And the styling is very discreet. You have no idea. There is a logo here that's barely visible at all. So they really come across as these sort of discreet, even slightly boring looking headphones, but that's okay. So it would be easy for someone to mistake these for Bose, if that's something that you care about, you know, and of course it has lots of adjustability for different size heads. That's a good thing. <laughs> so really not much else to talk about with these. I like them. I think they did a really solid job. Um, you're going to have to get a little used to all the different buttons on both sides of your head. But once you get the hang of that, it's really pretty straightforward. Or you could do what I do, which is basically ignore most of the buttons and just do most of the controls right directly on the device you're listening to. It's another solution too. But only thing let's talk about is the price. And before we get to the price, I'm going to ask if you, yes, you can subscribe to my channel. I am super honest in my reviews. <laughs> I'm not doing this for the merchant. I'm not doing this for the vendor. I'm doing this for you, the viewer. So I am super honest. I'll tell you the good. I'll tell you the bad. I'll tell you whether something's worth watching and worth buying and worth using. So subscribe. Excellent. Now, price. These are the Avantri Aria Pro ANC headphones, and they are $89.99 at Avantri.com. $89.99. That is not a bad price for these headphones. They are comfortable. They have really nice sound. They have a really good ANC. I tried them in some pretty noisy environments, and they did a very credible job of getting rid of all that background noise. Of course, ANC works better if you have louder music, just kind of how that works with it canceling out the sound. So definitely it's something that, you know, if you want to put these on and turn on ANC and then think you're not going to hear anything and it's going to be silent, it's not really how ANC works, but they do an okay job of that. But where they really shine is when you put on some music and you enjoy that at the same time. So these are definitely ones worth checking out. And with that, I will catch you in my next video.